Hey guys, last week I showed you how I made the metal aspects of this hidden blade and I told you there was going to be a part two doing the leather work that Justin's been working on. So here is the base leather work that the case is riveted onto. We're going to trim those rivets so that they don't stick out and look weird like that. This is the top, correct? Yes. So that's the underside, the underarm, and then this is going on the top of the arm. This is very, very elaborate, decorative, probably one of the nicest things that we've ever made. So there are those two pieces and then there's a thicker piece or a same thickness that those are going on. So they basically this is a multi-layered van brace to give it dimension. So Justin is stitching a hand piece that goes across the palm onto the main section right now. So would, would you would you like to tell people what exactly this is and how it works. So this is just buckskin, so it's a little bit softer on your hand. Um, all of the support for the van brace is gonna be right here on your wrist. So I figured making this, this is all gonna wrap around. The blade is going to sit here. And that's going to be stitched on here using a saddle stitch for strength and durability. And then the top is going to go on here, which I don't think I need to actually show you. And I know this is not square, but it's going to be covered up, so it doesn't matter. Um, other than that, we have, uh, like I said, we're going to make a strap that straps on right here. And then to actually keep the main leather part actually closed, uh, what are those called? Toggles. Toggles. Um, they're just, we have bead toggles that we're going to have leather attaching to three of them, one in the middle and two on each side just to hold this closed. All right, so here are all the parts together, uh, how they're supposed to be stitched together. Obviously, this is going to be pulled tight. And then we're going to stitch around the borders. Um, and so now it actually can go on without this part together. Um, just the sleeve, basically. We have a D-ring cinch down strap buckle deal thing. And uh, there's the loop that goes across your palm. So Justin is going to put it on. This is Justin's and Katie's kitchen, by the way, in case anyone is wondering. So... Cinch that down, and then the toggles will, you just tuck it under, and that's what really holds it on, and then the toggles are just going to kind of hold this closed. So with a bracer like this, you don't really need it to be held tightly on. This is to keep it from sliding up your arm and your elbow when you actually stab somebody, uh, or, you know, anything. That sounds very brutal when you stab somebody. We're going to be doing a lot of that. Um, that's really what keeps it on and keeps it from twisting on your arm. Uh, but to really just close that, we're just going to use the toggles and it's actually going to wrap over which direction? That direction? This way. The top? Yeah. Okay. So it'll just wrap over. So that way it fits lots of people with different sizes of arms. All right. So we have the toggles on. And we are working on, Justin's working on, making the cinch down strap things that go on the other side to attach onto the toggles themselves. So basically, these stay on this side as tight as they are. They're tied and then the glued on the other side. The glue is just to make sure it doesn't slip. And then on this side, there, which is over there, so when it wraps around, um, which side's overlapping? This side's overlapping? This side's that overlapping. side's overlapping. Um, it's overlapping and then just uh, put a loop on. So basically a leather loop is going to be coming through the leather and then you can loop it onto the toggle. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Like so. And that will basically keep it closed. Um, it's not actually... The main weight is not being held on that. The main weight is being held on the strap that I showed you earlier. That's just to keep it closed, keep it from flopping around when you stab people's faces, stuff like that. So uh, that's basically it. The rest Justin is going to do and bring to the shop tomorrow. And so he might get some video of it if there's much that's worthy of getting video. There's just stitching left to do, right? Mm -hmm.
So it's just stitching left, so maybe he'll take video and, and I might just edit it out because it's boring. So uh, <laughs> you may or may not have that. So uh, next you'll see this at the shop actually being tested. So this is the Assassin's Creed hidden blade. Yellow string is not a permanent fixture on this. It's just a temporary so we can make sure it all works. We have it drawn so we pull this back, releases this lever, the blade slips out. And then you reach over on this one and gravity brings it back. It has a dual locking mechanism. We have our very hassle filled toggles to secure the outside and bring it in. And that's about it for that. You should have seen the rest for the rest of the videos. What are we doing now? Uh, now, now we're stabbing stuff. Oh, we're stabbing so, stuff. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Nice <laughs> shot. That turned out really well. The uh, leather work is stellar, um, even though he doesn't think so. Um, and uh, the yellow string is being replaced, as we mentioned before, because it looks hideous. Uh, this is going to Zombie Go Boom to test on one of their heads um, and uh, see if it can kill a zombie. And hopefully that episode will be up by the 21st when the movie comes out. Uh, what else was I gonna say? Oh, by the way, officially, this is Justin, my business partner now or whatever <laughs> psychopath <laughs> um and that's jacob and that's katie so anyway um that is it for this video hope you enjoyed like comment subscribe and uh yeah what do i say what do i even say peace peace but now you can't edit that or so now this is the whole part of it i could edit it or we could just go with it because it was just really awkward. Now it's just going to be a really long YouTube video where there's like a minute and a half of random dialogue. Yes, but that'll produce good comments. Oh, there we go. Good comments. <laughs> Speaking of good comments, we wanted to point out this is not filled with anything. It's completely empty, so all the people are going to say, you're going to explode and die. Um, we actually won't. I mean, we might, but not, not today. <laughs>